Hi guys, Jake from Madlife 101. Today we're here with yet another update. Now, in this update, we are going to be going over the few other things I did. There's a few bugs, but I'm just going to do this off camera because, yeah, I'm just going to do them off camera. Um, okay, so this is one thing I added. Extreme mode warning. And then it just sends the same program as everything else. Except when I make it so things attack you. And, um, wait, well, it will make it so they attack you even more and harder. Okay, so let's just go on easy mode. This isn't anything new. Um, let's just go on anywhere. This is new. I made a gun. A pistol. Look, look. Yeah. Um, I made that weird little pistol. Now, we're going to have it... Let me just turn off this thing. This thing that makes it so the red dots appear. Um, we're going to be making it so it... Um... So there's an option to switch a weapon. I'm also going to make it so you can have a dagger. And then, basically, you can collect more weapons on the way. So right now, there's a pistol. That's all there is. Okay. So, now the program for the extreme is just very simple, just like any other button. Well, not any other button. Oh. Oh, my God. Sorry about that. Okay, sorry about that. Now you can see my whole screen. Oh, and sorry, I forgot about that. Let me just... And yeah. Okay, there. Let me just go here. Switch that off. Okay, sorry about that. Um, now what we're, we're so it, and then you'll have an option to switch your weapon, and then oh so here and then here's the program for the gun because I wanted to add because I all I heart already had the like when I was trying to make that a video game hardness rules it just got messed up horrendously so. I just started making a new video game, Bone Crush Revolution. And this is that. I've been spending about a month on this. And then here's the program for the gun. And then also costumes. I had three costumes. Oh, guys. Just saying to you guys. I didn't have any help on this game. Because my dad knows nothing about Scratch, so he couldn't help me. And in my past, just saying, this isn't related to the video game, but in my, when, I, when I first started Scratch about a year ago, um, I, like, I didn't know how to work all the sprites and when sprite collect and stuff, so I just used backdrops. So then, like, if I wanted something to move, i just make multiple backdrops. Um... And that's what would happen. Like, I wouldn't even have any sprites. But um, but then when I started getting more advanced and, and I started to learn more of the controls, now I can basically do anything on Scratch as long as I know what I'm doing and I do know what I'm doing. Um, so stay tuned if you want to see more of this video game. And this game, once it's done, because I'm pretty close to being done, I just need to get stuff in the, all the rooms. What the heck happened? Sure, that's a bug that sometimes happens. It just sometimes does that. Wait, let me see what's up. I don't see anything. Okay. So, and maybe in two months or so, this game will be out on App Store. I don't know. It might be in one month, might be three weeks. Probably the max it could be is like three weeks from now. If I work like seven hours each day, I could probably finish it. But I work about two hours every day on this game. That's how I've gotten this far. Fourteen sprites and... Wait, let me just... Um... Oh! Um, 14 sprites, 136 scripts. That's how I got that far. So, thank you guys for, um, staying tuned for 
the whole exhausting journey through building this game. This isn't the end of it though. Once I make a few more bigger updates to it, I'll make another video for it. So, yeah, see you guys later. Toodaloo!